Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create a PDF document gallery in WordPress. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create the document gallery, that is really easy. First of all, we need to go inside the plugin here. And in the plugin, I have to click on the add new plugin. Alright, so from here, I have to install two plugins, okay. So let's just write down CAD folder here. Now you will be able to see two different plugins by kit folders. The first one is WP media folder by cat folders and the second one is document gallery cat folder. Okay. So let's just install both of these plugins. Now I have to activate both of these plugins. Alright, so I have activated the first one. Now let's just activate the second one here. Okay, so we have activated both of the plugins here. So now what we need to do, we have to go inside the media here. And now you will be able to see the folder here. Okay, so from here, now you can see here that I can create the folders to categorize the images or the document if I want to. So this won't change the URL of the image, but still we got to have the structured filing here. Okay, so let's just create a new folder. So this would be important files. So we can create the multiple folders here if we want to. Okay, so let's just click on the important files. And now I would like to have the documents here. Okay, so let's click here. Click on the select files. Let's just go inside the documents. So I have created some demo files here. So let's just copy these. Alright, so now let's click on the open. Alright, so we have added the two PDF file and one docs file and one CSV file. Alright, so these are the files in our important files folder. Okay, so how can we display these documents? Okay, that is really easy. First of all, we're gonna go inside the pages and click on the add new page here. Alright, so here what you need to do, let's just add the title of our page. Okay, so now if I just click on the add block here. And if I just write down cat here, you will be able to see the two options of cat folders. The first one is the document gallery and the second one is the image gallery. Okay. So as for now, as we know that we want to have the document gallery. So that is why let's just click here and we will have our document gallery here. So right now we only have a single folder important files. So that is why you can see here. We only have a single folder here. But if you have the multiple folders, all of these folders will be displayed here. Okay. Inside the folders. So let's click here. So now you can see here that we have all of the four documents that we have uploaded earlier. Okay. So from here we can do some customization. So in the general options, we have library title text. So if you want to change the title here, you can simply change it from here. So I will simply write down important files here. And you can change the title tag of the library. Okay, so after that we have the alt text and after that we have the link. Okay. So if I just click here, you can see the four different options. The first one is the preview file and the second one is a pop-up window and the third one is to download the file and last one is done. Okay. So it simply means that whenever I click on the file here, what do I want to have? Whether I want to have the preview of the file or I want to have the pop-up window or I want to download the file. So it's all up to us. Okay. So I would actually go here with the preview file. And you can also limit the items from here as well. And after that, we have the option of the sword by and the sword type. Okay. So let's just click on the display options. So in the display options, we have the library icon. So if you want to show the library icon, you can simply keep this value like this. But if you want to disable this, you will simply disable the value here. And now you won't be able to see the icon. But I think the icon was looking good. So let's just enable this again and we can also do the same thing with the library title here okay and you can also see the placements here okay so we have the placement of the search bar we have the placement of the pagination and we also have the placement of the layout icon so if you want to change the placement of any of these things you can simply do it from here okay so if i just click here you can see this we have four different options here so you can simply play around with these values if you want to and after that, we have the layout display. 
so in the layout display we have the two options the first one is the list and the second one is the grid so if i just click on the grid you can see this we have the grid layout structure here and from here you can specify the number of the columns in the grid layout and in the last we have the display fields so what do you want to show in the file so if you want to show the title you simply enable this value if you want to show the type you simply enable this again and if you want to enable the size updated link you will enable all of these values from here but if you want to disable anything from here so for example i want to disable this download option so i simply disable the link here and now you won't be able to see the download option okay so this is how it works so now let's just publish this okay so now let's just go to our page here all right so now you can see this we have our document gallery here that is ready to use so when you click on the pdf file here it would have the preview file or when you click on the docs file or the excel file you simply download the file okay you can see here so this is how it works and this is how we can create pdf document gallery in wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel